In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gospel of February 12, 2018. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The Pharisees came forward and began to argue with Jesus, seeking from him a sign from heaven to test him. He sighed from the depth of his spirit and said, Why does this generation seek a sign? Amen, I say to you, no sign will be given to this generation. Then he left them, got into the boat again, and went off to the other shore. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us take a peek at the first reading from St. James. Consider it all joy, my brothers and sisters, when you encounter various trials, for you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. And let perseverance be perfect, so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. But if any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly, and he will be given it. But he should ask in faith, not doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, that is driven and tossed about by the winds. For that person must not suppose that he will receive anyone from anything from the Lord, since he is a man of two minds, unstable in all his ways. The brother in lowly circumstances should take pride in high standing, and the rich one in his lowliness, for he will pass away like the flower of the field. All right. Today we hear how the Pharisees came to the Lord asking for a sign from heaven. They are blind. And more than blind, they have hardened their hearts. They do not want to see anything or anyone. The Lord himself is the sign for us, for the ones who want to believe. Let us remember what he said, what the Lord said to Nicodemus. Unless you are born from high, from the Spirit, you cannot see the kingdom. The kingdom is the person started with the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. When God himself, the eternal Son, incarnated himself of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, then started the kingdom in this world. The kingdom with the presence of the, of the Lord God. But the Pharisees do not want to see anything. They are able and they were able to see a lot of miracles, but they did not want to be transformed. They did not want to repent, to convert by them. Not at all. They were just astultus, very stupid. They just wanted to, to argue with the Lord and reject Him. Yet, it also comes to mind that the great majority of us who have been baptized, and even a good majority of us who have been ordained, have not had the true experience of God. We have come to believe, as a very poor theologian said, that faith is a mental addition. That is not the way. It's not an adhesion. It's not just you're adding mentally to something. That's not the way. Faith is basically faithfulness. That is to remain faithful to someone. But how will you remain faithful to something if that something is only an ideology? There are so many ideologies, so many people coming anew every day with greater and better re reasoning to rob you of your thoughts and of your faith. Certainly, there are so many religions but if you have never had the personal experience of God, then you are like that wave that is being tossed by the wind. We have to pray. And we have to ask the Lord, for just as James said, He will give to anyone who truly asks Him to show Himself. He will give. He will make us sure. And once we have lived that, our entire life is on the line, without any doubt, because we have experienced the greatness of God, in whatever measure He might grant it to us. It doesn't matter. We don't have to move a mountain. It is not required. He only has to move your heart and mine. Mine, He has already done it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here talking to you and vested in this ornament. 
and being ordained. But let us pray for everyone. The Lord himself knows that those that doubt him will not accept him. He will not give them anything. But on the other hand, for all of us who have been blessed with the experience of Christ, with the experience of God, let us be ready for the testing. For as James says, let us rejoice deeply when we are being tested. And if we lack wisdom, let us ask the Lord for it, that we might be comforted and reconfirmed that we are going in the right direction. And not only for your sake and mine, for, for all the children of God that really require your example and mine. May the Lord be with you. And the blessing of God Almighty, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, descend on you and remain on you forever.